how do you know if you're spending so much time on html css and javascript when do you stop and move on you know a lot of beginners are stuck in this endless cycle of one more concept one more this one more that and there's never a clear finish line on when you should stop and move on to the next thing i'm a front-end developer and a technical writer and i was once like you in this video, I'll tell you exactly how much HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is enough for you to start learning frameworks, building reward projects, and even applying to internships. Let's do this, shall we? HTML is the skeleton of the web, more like the foundation that holds the whole web together. And for HTML, you should know the basic markup. You should know your div tags, your headers, your table, link, images, and even the HTML forms. It's also important that you know the semantic HTML, that's the footer, main tag, section tag, article tag, and all that. For me, I think if you're able to build a basic markup without googling any of the basic tags, you're good to go. I made a video about the front-end development roadmap. I'm going to link that video. And people were attacking me when I said that someone could actually learn HTML in two weeks. I learned HTML in less than that. Then for CSS, CSS is used for styling of the web, beautifying all the elements so that they look very good and put together. And there are some concepts and some styling features that you should know enough to move on to the next thing. For CSS, you should know the colors, spacing, box model. By box model, I mean the margin, padding, outline, borders. You should also know the flexbox. Flexbox and grids are very important concepts in CSS and they're going to help with the next thing I'm about to talk about. You should be able to make your website responsive. Yes, responsiveness is a critical aspect of styling in web development, front end precisely. Your website should work on desktop, small computer screens, tablets, mobiles, iPhones, and different phone screens that we have today. So if you don't know how to make your website responsive using media queries, flexbox, and grid, I don't think you're ready to move on. It's also important that you understand positioning in CSS because as you're moving forward, you might need to do basic animations and all that. Apart from the positioning, it's important that you understand measurements and units in CSS. The pixels, the percentage, the rem, the m, and all of them, they are critical to everything that you do in your styling. So if you don't know much about these measurements, just go deeper into them and use different measurement styles to know how they're going to appear on your web page. Now let's talk about the JavaScript. This is where things get dicey because how do you differentiate the gap between when you don't know enough and when you're spending so much time? For the concept you need to know in JavaScript, you should know the basics, obviously. Variables, loops, arrays, events. You should be able to write functions. And it is important that you understand the DOM, document object model. You know how to call your query selectors. You know how to get elements by ID, by class name, by tag name. It's also important that you learn how to dynamically render items. By dynamically rendering items, I mean you need things to be able to change on the web page without you had coding them into the web page. For example, you want if somebody types something that the uh, page should change, the page should update, the text or maybe a form should change or something like that. So for dynamically updating items, you should know how to use the template view trials. Also, I advise you understand the core concepts in ESCs. ESC as ECMAScript script that we're using now, so you should learn how to write arrow functions. For example, if you can't understand this code here, you're not ready. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. It's not a hard and fast rule. The fact that you didn't understand this code here does not mean that you're not ready. But if you're able to understand it, it means you're ahead a little bit. Okay, it's also important for you to understand some of these um, array methods. The map function, the filter, the splice, the slice, and all of that. Also, the structuring is a very important concept that you should learn if you're learning JavaScript. So if you're able to make your website good looking, responsive and very interactive, I think you're ready to move on. But you need to also answer these questions so you further confirm whatever I am saying. Can you build a web page without checking tutorials all through? Can you Google your errors when you face any bugs? Yes or no? 
can you make sites interactive that when someone clicks on your website that something actually happens do you feel bored rewatching tutorials yes no if you answered yes to most of these questions that i just asked now i think it's time for you to pack up html css javascript and move forward to learning frameworks contributing to open source building reward projects or even applying to internships i want you to know that you will never feel 100 percent ready and don't even be scared the fact that you're moving on does not mean that you're completely going to drop everything that you've learned in html CSS, and javascript you're obviously going to be incorporating them as you're moving forward in your career if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up comment share this video and most importantly subscribe to my channel also don't forget to click the notification bell so you get instantly notified whenever i upload a new video bye